why something is better than nothing, coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Roman, and today we're gonna talk about why doing something is better than doing nothing. So, I get a lot of people giving me feedback saying, you know, oh, it's great uh, to be able to have the time to practice and this and that. And, um, you know, I want to learn game development and I want to get better at it, but I don't have time to practice and I just have too many things going on in my life. Um, I, I never have the time. To some extent, maybe that's legit, but even just doing a little bit every day can help with that. So what I mean by that is if you're trying to improve in something, there is no reason that you can't spend five or 10 minutes out of your entire day to do that thing. Um, it might seem small and insignificant, and maybe it is in the grand scheme of things, but if you make sure to, to at least touch on whatever thing that is that you're trying to improve on at least a little bit every day, whether you're bummed out about it or whether your schedule is just packed or, or whatever it is that may be uh, that's getting in your life, that, that, that's getting in your way rather, whatever, it may, whatever the case may be, just aim to do five or 10 minutes per day. You know, life has a way of, of getting in your way all the time and it's never gonna stop doing that. And you, I mean, to some extent, you just have to accept, you know, no matter what you do, life is just gonna keep getting in your way and there's just gonna keep being all these things that pop up uh, you know, people need you for this or that, or you have to be, you have to go to an event or, or, um, you, you know, whatever it is that, that may be, um, you know, family members or, um, or, uh, you know, maybe your, your job or school or whatever it is. Um, there's always going to be stuff that comes up. Nobody ever has uh, a situation where they've got just unlimited time every day to just do stuff. Um, there's always going to be stuff that comes up and it's much worse for some people than it is for other people. And I totally get that. But like I said, there's no reason that you can't sit down for five or 10 minutes and do something every day. Make sure to touch development every day if that's what you're trying to get um, better at. And, you know, this channel is is mainly aimed at, at game development, but um, I'm not necessarily only talking about game development here. I'm talking about anything in life in general, um, at least in the context of this video, that you're trying to get better at. If you, if you go a day or you go two days without doing that thing, it suddenly gets easier to go another day without that thing. And then it gets easier to go two or three days without doing that thing. And then suddenly it's a week and then you blink and it's a couple weeks and then it's a month. And you see the pattern here. Um, and it's really easy once you've fallen off the bandwagon of, of, of hitting on it every day to, to sort of stay off of it and, and not come back to it. So that's, uh, that's how a lot of people uh, you know, lose sight of what it was that they wanted to accomplish and, and never actually wind up getting anywhere with, with what it is that they're trying to get better at. It's because they fell off the bandwagon at some point and they just stopped, they stopped touching it every day. They stopped trying to uh, open up Photoshop for five minutes and just scribble around or open up the sketchbook and try and, um, you know, draw a thing or two. Um, like I said, this applies to more things than just game development. Like, uh, for example, you know, I've got, I've got my sketchbooks and I try to draw something uh, in my sketchbook uh, at least once a day. Uh, and of course, there are going to be days that I miss, but I try with everything in my mind to not do that. Um, my, my programming, for example, I touch every day because that's what I do professionally. So even on the weekends when I have time off, even if it's five minutes, I do something programming related every day so that my skills never get a chance to sort of, um, to sort of just become lax, as it were. Um, they're always being exercised. There's that part of your brain is always being accessed and, and utilized. And... You know, I'm, I'm actually actively trying to do that with my sketchbook, too, and trying to uh, draw at least something tiny in it every day. 
But, um, you know, I have a lot of things going on too. So um, sometimes the sketchbook thing is, is one of the sacrifices I have to make. But it's not the primary thing I'm trying to get better at. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, in my case, I'm a developer. Um, and so I look at code every day without exception. Um, even if it's just, even if I don't write code, but I, um, you know, go on to Stack Overflow and answer a question or, um, or just read up um, on development of some kind. I'm still accessing that part of my brain. Uh, just do something um, every day for at least five to 10 minutes. And try not to make that the norm to only do five or 10 minutes because yeah, you're not gonna get anywhere very fast if that's what you do every single day. You know, something like programming, for example, requires uh, lots of hours of practice. And they say uh, to get good at anything, uh, I believe it was like 10,000 hours uh, of whatever it is that that thing, whatever that thing is that you're trying to get good at, you need to do it for 10,000 hours in order to get good at it. Um, and, you know, so if you only do 10 minutes a day, you're not going to live long enough to to, uh, to actually get good at it. But, you know, the, doing the bare minimum sometimes is, is, is okay because it's better than not doing anything at all. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's not to say that you should do that every day, but you should, uh, you should definitely strive to, to spend a couple of hours every day, um, doing what it is that you, you want to get good at. Um, and even some days, you know, spending entire days trying to, trying to work on it. But, you know, if you're, if you're really tight on time or you're feeling bummed out about something, um, and you're just like, man, I really don't want to do this today. Don't let that get in the way. Don't let that drive you into not doing it. Um, just maintain to yourself, I need to get this done, even if it's even if it's just five, ten minutes, because then I've gotten that done, and and I can move on with life. You know, I can come back to it the next day and and kick ass at it. Um, and so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it on that topic. Uh, you know, just make sure whatever it is that you're trying to get good at, uh, whether it's game development or anything else, just make sure to at some point touch on that thing every day and don't let a day go by where you don't do anything on it. Um, somehow, some way interact with it every day. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys on, um, some of the things that you, uh, are trying to get better at and, if you guys are able to hit those things every day and, and what are some of the things that get in your way and what are some of the ways that you overcome that? I'd love to hear back from you guys. Um, you know, I know I haven't, uh, sort of said this a lot, but you know, this channel I'm trying to make into sort of a discussion. I don't want it to just be one way. I want, I like hearing, um, feedback from you guys. I like, uh, having conversations with you guys and, um, you know, so I'd really, I'd really like to hear about uh, what some of these things are that you guys struggle with and how you overcome those things. So um, please leave me a comment below and like and subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.